Miss, would anyone been in the car with any drugs at all? Today? Yeah, well, uh, any time. Yeah. Yeah? I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I've had my kids drive it too. Commissioned and built 100 years ago, Christchurch Men's Prison is a testament to durable infrastructure. With a maximum of 926 prisoners, cell checks are a regular occurrence. And that's where dog handler Damien and his drug detecting dog Storm come in. Let's see if Storm can locate anything. And then once he's done that, we'll give the boys a hand to search the cells. In this confined space, Storm detects the scent of recent drug use. Storm, come. Seek. This will provide reasonable grounds to drug test the prisoner. What's more, there's evidence of other substances being smoked. This is what they use to um, roll their cigarettes up in. It's the, it's the Bible. Damien then notices something that Storm's not trained to detect and something that is highly dangerous. A couple of wires stuck in the electrical socket to create a spark to light their cigarettes. It's actually quite dangerous for staff. You imagine if someone touched that, they could get quite a nice electric shock. So it's quite a concern for us when we're searching cells. We need to be very careful of what we're doing. Other correction staff give the cell a complete scouring. They find what correction staff refer to as teabacco. It's made by soaking tea leaves in a nicotine patch. And the tea leaves absorb all the chemicals and nicotine near the nicotine patch. With no further evidence of drug use, Storm's job here is done. We found the tobacco and some smoking-related paraphernalia, so that's a good little search. But the day's work has only just begun for Storm. Next on the agenda is checking visitors and their cars in the prison car park. With scents swirling around everywhere in the strong northwest wind, checks are going to be a challenge. Still, Storm manages to lock onto this. Ma'am, there's a uh, smoking device in the glove box. Just come stand over here, ma'am. Storm decides the woman and children are free of drug odours, but utensils on board means at some stage someone has been taking drugs. Hey, I must know what's going to happen here, eh? Yeah. Going to come under the today. Her seven-and-a-half-hour trip to Christchurch was a waste of time and petrol, but the woman has a reason ready. Unfortunately, it's the oldest one in the book. Whether it's on a correction site or on a public road, the driver of a car is responsible for what's in it. We're not going to see Uncle. Get in the seat. There will be no visit for this family today. Hey, this is your visit, excuse me. You can see the details here. The woman does as she's told and leaves the site with instructions to clean out the car before any further visits take place. A great result for Storm in what were challenging circumstances in the blustery northwest wind. None more so than some new people in this same car that was excluded earlier in the day. Any alcohol, weapons, or drugs in the vehicle today? It's just like Groundhog Day. Storm goes through the car yet again. Well, just indicated on your uh, centre console there. In the middle? Yeah. Please. Well, there's nothing in there. Miss, would anyone been in the car with any drugs at all? Today? Yeah, well, uh, any time. Yeah. Yeah? Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I've had my kids drive it too. One of my kids being her very own daughter. Turned round in the morning after drug utensils were found. She's keen hairs on it. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. It's a comedy of errors. The new driver of the same vehicle will get the same old treatment. Amazingly, Storm can still smell where the drug utensils were kept. So she's sitting on it? Yeah. She's sitting on that glove box. It's like the clearest thing. Right, she's got to go. Yep. Yeah. And what you need to do is clean your car out. There's a strong indication in your vehicle that there have been drugs in your vehicle. Just as her daughter did a couple of hours ago, the woman leaves the site. The daughter was given an official warning and a one-day exclusion. As the car belonged to the mother and the fact she admitted cannabis had been used in it, she was banned for three months. We've had a really good day. Uh, not often do you get the same car coming twice in one day and you get dog indication in it twice, so that was real good.